work, penny antics, tutorial, lesson, video thing. Uh, it's the four year anniversary of our 10 song album reminder today. So, we had our album debut four years ago. Uh, I'm going to show you the single track off of that album, DND. It's the first single that we ever released as a band. And yeah, I'm going to break it down for you in this video. So, some standard tuning. A lot of distortion again, and once again, I'm going to be using the Squire 2017 Mustang. No mods or anything, just standard. Right, so the first thing you want to know about this song is the intro section. So it does a kind of half time feel thing compared to the mainline riff, which is just sort of it, it goes into a kind of double time feel. You'll know what I mean. I'll show you. So the intro goes like this. And it does that four times with a few variations at the end sequence. Um, so yeah, slowed down. It's with the chord names. It's the A sharp power chord, A power chord, F sharp power chord, and then it does a kind of. Just going to the open E string, followed by the F sharp. And then it goes straight back into the A sharp again. And then at the end of that cycle, you'll go to the C sharp power chord. So slowly, it should sound like this. So at the end, I mix it up every take. So it, the first one might be a slide. The next one might be a pick scrape. And the last one might be like a staccato bend on the G. So it should really, you should have a slide, scrape, bend, and then just let the note ring out. Well, that should be notes because it's a power chord. Two notes at once. That's the intro section. The main riff goes like this. That's your main riff. So that's A sharp power chord, C power chord, C sharp power chord, open A power chord. It does that. The rhythm changes up throughout the progression. Um, I think there's two variations, and then at the end of the, on the fourth time through the riff, it does a just a A sharp to A thing. So I'll show you that. So the first one is that's your first sequence. The second one is kind of go a bit more staccato towards that end run so it's a and then the third time through it is the same as the first and then the last one is that a sharp a power chord run i showed you and then the last four strikes muted uh that brings us into the i think chorus if that was the verse, I believe this would be the chord. So then it goes into a kind of A sharp, A, C sharp, A sharp, and it does this. straight back into that part again. So slow down, you want your A sharp, A, C sharp, A sharp. Again, that's just a mute, mute, strike. And then, uh, yeah, it goes straight back into that part 
plug in. And then we get into the bridge section where I use a wire pedal and drop it to the lowest possible tone. So you should get this kind of a feel. And then just have some fun with the art tape pedal, the wire pedal. You want it to sound like it's coming to life. See, it's kind of like walking. That just it's just a wild pedal, go mad with it, use your foot going up and down, enjoy it, have fun, that's what we do. Uh, that part is a bit more complex. I use my index finger and pinky finger on this part because it just frees up the space, it makes it easier when I'm playing the chords personally. You can use your ring finger, but always use that index finger when playing this shape. So I go A sharp power chord, then I use my middle finger to play the F sharp. So what you're getting is A sharp, power chord, A sharp and F. Then you're going F sharp and F. With the A sharp still in play. You get a real dissonance feel. Then you go in uh, F, A sharp, F. Then you bring that up to G sharp. Kind of thing, so you're playing a G sharp, C sharp, and then the G sharp again octave. That's right there, you're playing an A sharp, D sharp, and then you're playing the uh, G sharp again. Uh, sorry, no, not that. Yeah, yeah, the G sharp again. But it's the octave. That brings you straight back down to the F, A sharp, and the F octave. Then you just go mad with the wah pedal again. So it should sound. today's lesson. You end on the chorus part again, you have a bit of fun with the vocal, you go crazy, big climactic finish and it's over. That's D&D, do not disturb. You find that on Reminder, uh, that's on our Bandcamp, alternatively you can buy it from us at one of our gigs. You can also get one of those from us from our gigs, Noteworthy EP, it's also on the Bandcamp page. That t-shirt design is not on the Bandcamp page, but you can buy that from us at our gigs. We're selling them for a fiver each. And uh, yeah, enjoy the music. I'm doing these videos as a weekly thing, so if you're interested, let me know in the comments or like, subscribe, share our stuff around, whatever you want to do. If you just want to watch, fair enough. I do that on YouTube as well. Ignore all the promo stuff.